Leave it 5 one turn right heading 183. It is not from Airbus, nor is it from Boeing, and it's not even from Embraer, but work has officially begun on the CR-929, an aircraft you may not have heard of, but one that is coming to the aviation industry within the next decade. A massive thanks to a subscriber for sending through this video as a suggestion in my emails. Before we properly get underway with the title at hand, I think we do really need to generally look at the CR-929 more generally to get a bit of a refresh. This aircraft is a wide body, which will operate long haul flights, currently being jointly developed by both the United Aircraft Corporation and the Chinese Civil Aviation Corporation, so Russia and China will be working together on this aircraft. They see the Comac CR929 as really an alternative to the A330neo and a Boeing 787 for airlines. To what extent this will really compete with these two aircraft remains to be seen. I can't help but think that it will not be a very much if it even gets up in the air, but it will be incredibly interesting to see some of the added competition and how it fares in, say, specifically Russia or China. The CR929 was launched back in 2014, so it's definitely been a slow seven to almost eight years for the program, but things are now moving quickly. However, as for the first official deliveries, you can expect them to come by 2028 and or 2029, so that's the end of this decade. The delays have come from the pandemic, funding, teething problems, and much more that you would expect from a brand new program, and especially one that is not necessarily being manufactured by Airbus, Boeing, Embraer, and your core aircraft manufacturers. As reported by Media 73, work has officially begun on the CR929 with aerocomposite manufacturing key parts of the prototype in Russia. Specifically, work will involve the production of the wings. This is not their only project as of right now. They are working also on other aircraft types. However, this one is of course our front and central focus for today's video as it does involve that CR929. For the CR929, there have been many questions surrounding just how it will compete within the aviation industry and to what extent it'll just function generally. There have already been several problems between Russia and China manufacturing this aircraft, with them actually clashing over specific responsibilities that could not be sorted and or ironed out. This is another contributing factor as to why the plane has struggled to get moving and has that massively delayed entry into service date. With all that being said, as we do get closer to the prototype being completed, we may finally get our first proper look at the CR929. At the moment, all we've had is those mock-ups, which as you can probably see from this video, has made it very hard to fill with, say, video content. But moving forward, getting that first look, we'll be able to better understand the aircraft and determine really where it'll fit within the industry, if at all. But now, I'm going to pass the torch over to you. What are your thoughts on the CR929? Do you really believe it has a future within the aviation industry, or is it an aircraft that will come and simply go? You can let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks very much for watching. Do enjoy what's left of your week, and I'll see you next time.